Prepare to forge your path and create a legacy in Season 2 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Warzone 2. Set launch on February 15th and it comes a resurgence mode with a new map, Ashika Island. If you guys missed it, I did a full video breakdown. And if you did miss it, then you need to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe so that you never miss a video because we got new contracts and public events coming and for the three of you who love dmz it is expanding to ashika island we have so much to cover in today's video so sit back and relax welcome back to another video where i break down and give you all the gaming leaks news rumors and updates so if that is something you're into go ahead spread that love on the like and subscribe button at 500 subscribers i'll be giving away a copy of modern warfare 2 and you can help me reach this goal by sharing this video with your friends it keeps them in the loop and you've helped out your friendly neighborhood content creator as a thank you for doing so here's a picture of my dog annie she is my buddy she is my pal she's my sweet little girl happens to be the mascot of the channel and as you can see, she's just hanging out here in the back. As you can see at the top of the blog, they're focusing on Ashika Island. There's the overview. Boom, right here. And this to me says a lot. And they probably know with all the stats that they like to bring up that Rebirth, Fortune's Keep, the whole Resurgence game mode just carried Warzone 1. And this is probably going to be carrying Warzone 2. And what's nice is available at the start, we're going to have solos, duos, trios, and quads. This is a huge W. And we get to see this new feature that I'm really excited about called Restoring Honor. This is a launch. It says, on Ashika Island, it takes incredible courage to return to where you once fell in battle. Courage that is worthy of some valuable rewards. Every operator on Ashika Island will drop with a dog tag and upon death once per match in Resurgence or the Standard Battle Royale, it could be picked up by a squad mate or themselves after you know you come back redeploying. And by doing so, this grants you a small cash reward such as a single UAV ping that marks both enemy threats and nearby supplies. We're also getting a new contract, it's called Search and Seizure. In addition to contracts originally in Battle Royale modes like Safe Cracker and Bounty, Ashika will have an additional contract search and seizure take the cash and other in match rewards it is expected to go live in season search and seizure involves reclaiming a stolen vehicle either by suv or patrol boat so in other words they're going to grant theft auto the vehicles from the ais and drive it to another location and i have a funny feeling that these vehicles are going to be worth it they might have like guns or turrets on them like a, a heavy armored vehicle on land like an suv that has like a turn on it. I, I could see that being something like this since that's already in like ground war and other game modes like that we're getting a new public event called data heist intel is power especially during a data heist a new exclusive public event on ashika island during the second circle collapse three uplink stations will come online around the map allowing players to download critical intel from them in exchange for valuable in-match rewards squads can hack into and stand near the uplink station to gain this intel Download progress can be sped up by eliminating those combatants, and you can stop somebody's progress by standing in the area or using a DDoS build upgrade. Successfully completing these download rewards, XP, cash, and a random piece of tactical equipment, I don't know if that's completely worth it, but if you visit up to two or three stations and successfully download all their intel, you will receive increased rewards, such as a random kill streak or an advanced UAV. I personally love this, and I would love to see more public events being added into the standard battle royale and a chic island I'm, I'm a big fan of this and this isn't the only thing changing however we kind of expected this this is where they bring up in season two will include several notable changes in warzone 2 including an updated gulag which will host 1v1 instead of 2v2 this is this is fantastic another thing that's coming back from warzone into warzone 2 is going to be the redeploy balloon the redeploy balloon is coming back but it's being renamed the redeploy drone it's going to function the exact same way as the original redeploy balloon uh, but now you can buy these from the buy station for you know a premium cost one thing here in the middle they sneak this in they say to use the redeploy drone simply hook a cable up to a drone via an interaction after ascending to where the drone is hovering in the sky an operator will be launched in the direction they are facing allowing them to parachute down safely to a distant location while ascending operators can rotate and around the cable to best position themselves they can also hip fire the weapons and detach at any point so does that mean like you can kind of like you could run up the cable, turn, hip fire, and as you're coming up, you could just detach as they're trying to like, you know, zip up and follow you. I think I think this could be this can call for some really cool creative plays. These are new drones and have a difference compared to the redeploy balloons. Notably, they can relocate to a safe area after a short period if they are within a circle collapse. Huh. Only a certain number of drones will reposition within each circle. 
with all drones going out of commission after several circle collapses have occurred. Very cool. I guess I just missed that because I got confused and distracted because I thought the community said, yo, we hated the AI. And Activision said, heard, we're adding an AI. It's called the Rusher. And guess what? He may not have a lot of plate or armor but what he does have is he has a pistol with a built-in chronos and he has two ninja swords with built-in aimbot and he's rushing after you i where i want to i want to i wish i was in the meeting to where i could have heard that this was a good idea but so far ai combatants are all about dealing damage from a distance that's so fun unless otherwise provoked by swinging wildly with a butt of their gun during season two a new type of combat joins their ranks to fulfill that extreme close quarters combat cqb Roll the rusher. The rusher may not have much in terms of health or armor, but with a lack of defense, they make up for an increased agility and a deadly short sword. This adversary also packs a pistol in case the target is unreachable for a melee attack, as well as many smoke bombs to use for repositioning. All I gotta say is if we don't see a Naruto collab and the AIs have look like you know, Shinobi from the Hidden Leaf, we're, we're missing out. That's the only way I'm gonna be cool with something like this. Discover the secrets of Ashika Island. I love this operator, this Ronin operator is tough with the half sleeves, almost looking like Tim the Tatman out here. Like previous smaller size Warzone maps, Ashika Island has its own secrets for the operators to uncover. Use all of your senses to be curious during the resurgence matches, and you may stumble upon some legendary supply boxes and other items that can help you towards your victory. For the three of you that like DMZ, I kind of read through this already. It's just expanding. There's nothing completely like new. We're getting a new faction. It's known as the Crown. This is already kind of going over and they say, you know, if you want to know more about this, they already did a blog article. We already did this, but you know, whatever. New boss, new contracts. Uh, this guy is going to be the bomb. Well, maybe not this guy, but new boss, the bomb maker. The ones who roll over Ashika Island knows how operators are infilling the exclusion zone and will be more than prepared to defend its domain by any means necessary. The bomb maker's location is currently unknown, bullshit, by the operators and will be able to find him somewhere on Ashika Island. He holds new weapon cases for season two, which contain all new permanent rewards for operators to flaunt with outside of DMZ. I, if, if, I hate on DMZ, but if they pull this off and, and put tons of rewards, like if I couldn't go in and get a lot of different weapon blueprints and flex them outside of it, then I'd be more open to it. Uh, but instead, I've just been playing a lot of Warzone and multiplayer. All mods were in Building 21 weapon cases will remain the same for Season 2, so be sure to grab those too if you had not extracted all 14 of those rewards. Okay, now, who can name this map right here? Who can name this map? Because this doesn't look familiar. We had this in Cold War. We had this in other games. Intel from Al Masra indicates that down aircraft has been spotted north of Syed City, which plums a thick black smoke visible from the summit of Sadek Caves complex. Wow, that's, that's a lot of smoke. Elsewhere, enemy reinforcements have redacted, resulting in subterranean redacted. So does that mean, to me this says that subterranean, that there's going to be an area underneath this. Between multiple points of interest in the north, we also are confirming reports of being recommissioned and ready for passengers on the main of the region. Are they adding another train system? That'd be kind of cool if you had two trains going around. Given the amount of existent reconnaissance in this release, this intel would be declassified as part of a tactical overview to be released tomorrow. Oh, well that's kind of fun. Okay, overview, we get ready for rank play. The overview is just saying, prove your skills, rank play is coming. Two core maps, two battle maps, half dozen modes. We're about to get into that. Like, get ready for rank play. Those who claim to be the best Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer will have to prove it in a ranked play. A new multiplayer experience built in collaboration with Treyarch and Call of Duty League. I love this and I hope this becomes a skin in the item shop. These are the kind of skins I want to see in Call of Duty. And there's one right below this that I like even more. But come on. Does that say ranked? Yes. Ranked play. Ranked play. Nope. This feature pack standalone competitive multiplayer mode uses CDL approved rules, restrictions, map, and modes all while rewarding players with exclusive items and visible skill ranks to show off with pride. Work your way up through several skill divisions from bronze to iridescent, all the way from top 250 where your name will be displayed on a special top 50, 250 leaderboard, board, earn skill division skins based on your highest rank of that season, including a set for finishing the season in gold division or a buff for the first time as well as unique boards. I hope this is a reward for like reaching gold because this is, I love this whole look. I mean, 
This is cool. As you fight to increase the skill rating, your SR, you will climb through a set of ranked play matches, 1 through 50. This does not reset each season. Every win grants a star towards this rank system, and every five ranks rewards a new operator skin. Plus, complete seasonal wins. Oh, yeah, I love this. Yeah, no, this is... Th so far, the introduction of ranked in a multiplayer is great. Now, let's bring that over to Warzone. You know what I'm saying, baby? Okay, four core maps and multiplayer at launch. We're getting Dome, a remake of Dome. That's cool. Zaya Observatory. Uh, I mean, we it's just ground war. Zaya Observatory and Warzone. I personally hate that they're, they're even, like, the same thing over here. Like... These are already places that we play in DMZ and in Battle Royale, so I don't understand, like, I don't know. And then also, the other core map that is coming and is a new map is the museum map that we played during the alpha. So far, the, the first half of this, this article is great. Latter half, not so much. Okay, so we're getting some new game modes. We're getting Infected, Gun Game, Grind, which is like kill confirmed but there's going to be like places where you have to bring the dog tags back so you can stack multiple dog tags and bring it back and and uh, you know stack up your points that way you're getting a true hardcore uh game mode and it's previous as previously announced the hardcore playlist will be returned in place of tier one so hardcore is replacing tier one drop zone is coming back all or nothing which is basically just throwing knives in a pistol free for all one in the chamber raid episode two coming mid-season i mean how did you guys feel about the raid? I, I'm very curious. So now we got the general overview. This is the last half. We're, we're wrapping up this video and this blog article. So the Path of Ronin Season Challenges. Complete challenges in Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 to earn rewards, including a functional weapon. Ronin returns with an arsenal. Vanquish your opponents like a true warrior with this operator. And five new weapons during the season, three of which are available for free in the battle pass. So does that mean two of them you have to earn? Either in game, I bet you one, if not both of them, are going to be rewards through DMZ. Walk the path of the Ronin launch event. Following the way of the warrior will lead the spoils of war. At the beginning of season two, the path of Ronin challenges will present all operators with seven challenges to be completed in Warzone 2 or Modern Warfare 2 based on seven virtues of Bushido integrity, respect, courage, honor, compassion, sincerity, and loyalty. Each challenge comes with a reward for completing, such as a gun screen and weapon charm. Complete all seven challenges in Warzone 2, Modern Warfare 2, and get the new crossbow functional weapon. Okay, so one of the weapons is for sure going to be a DMZ exclusive. We get five new weapons, three in the battle pass. The ISO, you guys remember this from Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, it's making a comeback. Powerful enhanced rifle from the Expedition Firearm is designed to take both 5.56 and subsonic 300 BLK ammunition, providing battlefield advantage in any situation. This is going to be like a Swiss Army knife. I'm cool with that. The AK uh, platform is getting a shotgun. You heard that right. Bringing the power of the 12 gauge to the cast staff platform, the KV broadside is the fastest firing semi auto firearm in the shotgun class destroy targets at close range with impunity wow and instead of cali sticks we get dual blades the dual yeah <laughs> powerful melee weapon that can quickly move towards a target with a longer range attack each swipe has an impressive range and faster forward motion towards enemies compared to the knife melee through oh my god that just sounds cheesy that just that sounds cheesy okay we get the crossbow because what Call of Duty game isn't a Call of Duty game without a crossbow. Cool. Silent and Agile, this high performance crossbow fires 20 inch bolts with exceptional lethality. Exclusive customization, distinct functionality, and a unique ammunition type to give this weapon the, a class of its own. Interesting. This is going to be Doug Sensor Martin's jet ski. It has come, the new personal watercraft vehicle, Doug Sensor Martin's jet ski. Completing the armored patrol boat and mid-size HRV, the watercraft is a nimble. Oh, okay, so we're getting two. We're getting an armored one and like a personal mid-size one. Very interesting. The Ronin returns, you know, just more stuff at, at launch. Prestige, rank up to 500. So here are the new prestiges. Personally, I love this tiger. I think that's dope. Combat records and leaderboards. Warzone 2.0 combat records will come online as part of season two. The statistics present in Warzone 2.0 comp combat record will only be activated from that date forward and will not include statistics from season one so if you've sucked all of your statistics right now don't matter so my 10.0 kd isn't carrying over darn
I guess now I gotta go out and prove it. And then out of combat overview. This is just saying, you know, there's some new swag, centralized stuff for patch notes, which is just gonna be here at callofduty.com slash patch notes, which the best way to keep involved in these patch notes is just to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you guys never miss a video. And with that, we are going to wrap up this video. So I just wanna know your opinion. I personally don't like it, but overall, I'm, I'm excited for the new map, the new guns. I think I think we're moving in the right direction. But as always, I challenge you guys, make somebody laugh today, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.